Hi students, we've been having a great challenge in our studio for you to learn all of your white key five finger patterns. We called it our guppy challenge. Now, if you're watching this video, that means that you have finished your guppy challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you now how you should practice your guppy. You are on to the betta fish but you should still practice your guppy so you can get faster and faster and faster. I'm gonna turn on my metronome. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and I'm gonna show you what you should do. You should just do them all in a row. I'm gonna do just the five finger patterns first. Okay, so I'm gonna change my video so you can see my hands. Let's see here, let me find the right video. I think it's this one. There we go. Now, I'm gonna turn on my metronome. I'm gonna make it, oh, I'm gonna make it kind of fast. Let's see here. I'm gonna make my video 176. Ooh, that's fast. All right, and I'm gonna do hands together. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start on C, and then I'm gonna do D, and then E, then F then G. I'm going to go right up with just major. Here we go. You listen. Now I'm getting ready. Now I'm getting ready. Take as much time as you need to get ready. Take as much time as you need to get ready. Get ready for your next one. Get ready for the last one. I'm gonna slide in, remember, so our shorter fingers can reach the black keys. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my minors. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do D minor. Now E minor. Now F minor. G minor. Remember, we need to slide in because we can't reach the black key, so let's slide in. Okay, now let me come on back over here. So I'm gonna change my camera so we can see each other. So now what you wanna do, keep practicing those five finger patterns. Keep, go ahead and practice them hands together. Practice them so they're easy. Practice them so you're good at them. And so, you know, don't just stop practicing them. Practice so you can go right up the piano like this. Maybe minor next. Then D major. Then D minor. Practice them all different kinds of ways. Practice your five finger patterns so you don't really have to think about them. Get good at your five finger patterns. That's your new guppy challenge. You checked it off. For the rest of your life, you practice your five finger patterns. Congratulations, you know them. Now, don't ever, ever forget them. Have fun with your five finger patterns.